So the process in which we're doing uh, the window casings is we're actually kind of prefabricating the, the window jam portion, which is the inside uh, that kind of wraps the, the studs. And we're setting that in the window with shims and securing that. And then we're doing the trim around the window. We're gonna put that on last individually and then finish it. Uh, so what we did, we had uh, obviously our walls, our exterior walls are two by six. So the gap for the jam needed to be four and a half four and a half inches, and of course we needed material for the trim. So what we ended up doing was we purchased um, one by eight prime boards, finger jointed board. We didn't do MDF, we did um, real wood, uh, just in case of any moisture gets in or whatever. So we ripped them down to get our four and a half, uh, which left us with uh, like a two and a half board on the outside. I think it's, that's what the measurement is. about two and five eighths, uh, which is a little skinny, but again, the next step up is to go to, with a, a one by 12, which is it's just, it was too much. We didn't want to pay that much for it. So there's different ways of doing these casings. I've seen people do the entire casing, trim it all, all in one piece and then install it. I've seen people do every single piece uh, individually installed. Um, there's a lovely little cat. Um, so we're kind of doing a hybrid. Again, we're kind of building out the, um, the jam, which is this piece right here. We're going to build that box out here in the open, and then we're going to install that with shims. Then we'll do the outside individual kind of face frame trim pieces individually. Um, I don't know, that just the way we worked it seemed like it, it would be easiest for us. It's like me at Home Depot with all the new tools. Please! All right, so casings, you're into the world of finished carpentry, so you gotta be real specific with your measurements. You're gonna be into the, you know, sixteenths on your tape measure. You want everything real tight, um, just to keep your gaps down. We're putting the nail holes um, with sheetrock patch compound. Uh, we're gonna caulk all the linear seams on the inside and the outside, uh, any kind of cracks. Uh, since we do have a, a live edge, because we ripped down the boards and these outside boards, um, we're going to go ahead and break this corner with some sandpaper because it's kind of sharp. And then we're going to prime and paint and caulk the outside uh, raw edge to seal it up and finish it off. And then we'll paint the whole thing. Uh, so anytime you do, you trim out a window or door, you always want to kind of use the rule of thumb of relying on reveals is what I think they call them. Uh, but it's just a little lip so that when you're putting trim on, you don't flush the trim up with the adjacent side because you'll always see a line. You'll always see that seam. So what you do is you pump it out a quarter of an inch or half of an inch uh, to make the seam look a lot better, to make it look like it's, it was meant to be there. So anytime you're trimming something in, it's usually best to create some type of a, like a step down, uh, but it's called a reveal. This is how we decided to do our casings. There's a lot of videos out there of other ways to do this. Um, I didn't find a whole lot of videos of this particular method, so hopefully this helps out. This gives you another option if you're doing something similar. At least you can consider it and see how we did it um, and see if you like it or not.